Hi, my friends. It's Monday again. It's the Monday after Easter, and uh, it must be spring because we got about three or four inches of snow here at my house last night into today, and that's the sure sign that it's spring in Wisconsin is one dumping of snow. I do hope this is the last, mostly because I'm worried about the mama bird who is nesting on the Christmas wreath on her front door, and I want to make sure she keeps her babies nice and warm and all those good things. Today has been an unsettled kind of day for lots of people. Um, lots of folks who've called and messaged and talked to their pastor have been just out of sorts today, and I want to remind you that that's okay that through all of this we're going to have highs and lows and ups and downs and all kinds of uncertainty and that's okay we're going to have really great days where everything feels good and we're going to have eh, kind of blah days where things don't feel good and we're going to have grumpy days and angry days when we wish we could be doing other things and that's all okay that mostly what we need to do right now is be very honest with ourselves and the people we're sharing our time with about how we're feeling and all of those things in this uncertain time. So I have a book today about liking ourselves, about the people we are, even if our hair is getting longer than we like because we can't go out to our hairdressers or we're not getting dressed up, these are my pajamas, um, and things like that, and we're just not feeling like ourselves right now because it's so different, we still need to learn to like ourselves. So the book is called, I Like Myself. I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by David Catro. Wishing every child the magic of self-acceptance and love, and to Jeanette for pushing me outside the envelope. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's excuse me, there's no one else I'd rather be. It's kind of a silly picture. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. Not sure I want a picture of a nose in my living room, though. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different. And the same. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. She's got a rocket ship. I like me on the inside too for all I think and say and do. There's the doggie. And there she is. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It all is me. And me is all I want to be. Sorry, I have a sniffle because I have allergies. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. 
because sometimes people don't like us. And that's okay. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Because nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so... That is some excellent hair. Yeah. No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. I'm going to do a close-up, though, because her snout is really good. Or knobbly knees, or hippo hips, or purple polka-dotted lips. Or beaver breath, or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. That's the doggy off her horn. Or yikes with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine, I still would be the same. You see. I like myself because I'm me. The end. So my friends, these days, I want to remind you to try and like yourself for being you. And part of being you is feeling all the things you feel, happy and sad and grumpy and tired and hungry and fussy and bored and fidgety and all those things. And it's okay to feel all those things because they make up who you are. And I love who you are very, 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 very much. And so I want you to remember how very much I love you as we continue with these strange social distancing, preventative distancing times that are keeping all of us healthy. So remember, I love you bunches and bunches. Bye-bye.